I'm in Windsor in Berkshire, which is a town on the River Thames, which is just west of London. The town is actually most famous for the castle behind me. And in this video, I'm going to try to take a couple of shots using my Olympus OMD EM1 Mark II, and I'll try to give you an idea of what Windsor's like and uh, what to expect if you come here and, and have a look at a couple of the shots that I'm taking. Windsor is also famous for being close to Eton College or is Eton College famous for being close to Windsor? I'm not sure. I'm going to have a quick look at Eton College now. Eton College behind me is possibly the most exclusive school in the whole of England and is the place where most of England's Prime Ministers or Britain's Prime Ministers spent their formative education. It's very exclusive, very expensive. But my first image of Eton, I've got this view behind me, a whole the, this road has got a slight curve. It's actually Slough Road, which leads, leads to the local town of Slough. And I like the fact that the road's curved. I've got these nice buildings on the edge. I'll use the Olympus EM1 Mark II. I'm on 1 500th of a second. It's really bright, F4.5. And I'm on ISO 200. So I'm going to turn around now. I'm going to try and take a shot of that. Unfortunately, it's quite a lot of cars that drive up and down here, sort of in Eton towards to Windsor in that direction. But I'll try and take a shot now and let's see how this comes out. There's a couple of cars that have just gone past in the background, which is slightly annoying. So I'll wait my turn and I'll try to take a picture of the cars. I really like the way that the sun is low in the sky now. It's bouncing nicely off the side of those two buildings. Just the difference in the distance there is fantastic. Uh, hopefully I can bring out all the shadows and I'll make a nice balanced shot. I'll show you that in a second. I've just taken one. I'll take a couple now and let's see how they come out. I've snuck in round the back of Eton College. I'm not sure if I'm supposed to be here, but the gate was open. Like any other photographer, you get an option and you take it. And just behind me up there, there's the towers, the main towers are in beautiful sunlight and are going to try to take the shot now and use my Olympus EM1 Mark II, my 12mm prime lens f1.8 to try and get that shot. So I'll show you that image now and I'll take the shot and show you the shot after. Yeah, there's a picture in the bag. I'll show you what, what that looks like now. As good as Eton is, it's not quite as famous as its bigger neighbour over the Windsor Bridge uh, with the castle of Nightbeat. Well, I'm standing on Windsor Bridge now, and I'm going to take a picture of that uh, tower in the castle using my 45 mm left 1.8 heads. Suddenly, there's not that many good pictures of Windsor Castle from this sort of level, and I think the best thing just to take it higher up using a drone or further away. When you're close in, you can't really get a very good shot. But I'll try and take this shot now with my 45 mil lens. With this image, I've gone f4.5 on 320 the second, and the sun's just gone on the tower. So I'm going to just take this now, focusing on the tower. There's that shot in the bag. I'll show you that now. There's been a castle here at Windsor since Saxon times, 9th century, and not long after the Norman Conquest, William the Conqueror improved the fortifications of the, the fort here at Windsor, and following him, Henry II started to build a stone fort, and it started to take the shape that we see today. The 
best time of day to visit Windsor Castle is about four o'clock in the morning when there's nobody here. Otherwise, the place is packed with tourists. They're just based. It's amazing how many people come here during the day. I'm here on Sunday evening, about seven in the evening, so it has quietened down quite a lot. Behind me, you see the castle again, and that's another fairly okay picture of the castle from from this level, just at the entrance. So I'm going to take this shot now and show you what this looks like. It has been suggested that Windsor was Queen Elizabeth II's favourite residence, and just recently Charles, King Charles III was in residence here as well, so... This is an extremely famous place for the royals. Not only has it been their home for about a thousand years, but most of the royals are buried in and around the grounds, St George's Chapel, the mausoleum in the Great Park, in lots of different locations within the sort of massive area that is Windsor Castle and the Great Park. Much like Lincoln, Windsor is famous for its wonky house, although this one's not quite as old. It is really cool, though, and I'll try and take a picture of it now. The wonky house is right next to the Guild Hall, which is a picture I took at night last night. I haven't looked at that image, but I will share it with you now, whether it's good or bad, and we can have a look at what a night shot of the Guild Hall looks like. Windsor's got a rather random blue host box, which I believe was put in for airmail before anybody could just post airmail from anywhere. And this is a George post box next to an Elizabeth II post box. Possibly the best view of the castle at ground level. Is this view behind me of the Tower of Lancaster and the Tower of York. And you could see this really well if you're at the Copper Horse, right at the other end of the Long Walk, which is a straight road that goes from the castle right up to King George III's statue, about three miles away. And it's just a pavement for walking, no cycling, uh, no anything else, just walking. And I did it this morning. So I took a couple of pictures from that end, and I'll show you those now. And I'll take a picture of this image here, uh, while the sun's setting while I can before the gates are shut. Unfortunately, these gates are locked and I can't go in, but I can try and take a picture from the gates and get the two towers in front of us. For this image, I've got my 45mm f1.8 prime and I have got f1.8 i'll go probably about two, one two hundredth of the second so i just it's got a little bit lighter one two fifty and i'll take that now i'm focusing right in the middle of the towers there you go and we'll have a look at that shot there it is on the back of the camera and we'll have a look at that shot in a moment thank you very much indeed for watching i hope you've enjoyed this short video this short video of photography in Windsor and this video is slightly different only because I've used a phone not my phone I've borrowed a phone to come out as my phone's too old too slow and not good enough for videos but as you may have seen if you've watched my video on Lockwood and I'll leave a link up there if you want to have a look at uh, it thank you very much anyway for watching this video I hope you've enjoyed it I hope it's been interesting and the little look of Windsor that I've done in this video I hope that's been interesting to you if it has why don't if you like that would be amazing if you did and if you like this we're talking about content we'd be super pleased if you would subscribe to this channel that would be amazing thank you very much indeed and i'll see you in the next one cheerio